knee dislocations. The knee joint allows for flexion and extension. These functions allow the body to perform activities like walking, running, and sitting. Knee dislocations occur as a result of violent trauma. The femur and tibia are not articulating with each other. The bones of the knee are held together by strong ligaments. The ACL, the PCL, the lateral collateral ligament, the medial collateral ligament. For a knee dislocation to occur, three out of the four ligaments will become ruptured. Types of knee dislocations anterior, posterior, medial, lateral, rotatory. It usually posterolateral, the medial femoral condyle will buttonhole through the medial soft tissue and capsule, resulting in a dimple sign. It's often reducible. Posterior dislocation, dashboard injury. The most common mechanism of injury includes exaggerated hyperextension of the knee and dashboard injuries. Posteriorly directed force with the knee flexed can cause posterior knee dislocation. Anatomy of the perineal nerve. The perineal nerve is tethered at the fibular neck and can be injured. The incidence of nerve injury ranges from 14% to 35% and this is published data. Anatomy of the popliteal artery. The artery is tethered proximally by the adductor hiatus and distally by the soleus arch. Vascular damage is most common in anterior and posterior dislocations in approximately 40% of the cases. Arterial damage in approximately 20 to 40 percent of all knee dislocations. Knee dislocations is associated with a high incidence of popliteal artery injury. With an established popliteal artery injury and the resultant ischemia, blood flow must be restored within six hours. Posterior tibial and dorsalis pedis pulses should be carefully evaluated and compared to the other side in any patient with a knee dislocation. Look for any evidence of ischemia, diminished blood flow, or compartment syndrome. Urgent reduction of the knee dislocation is mandatory. Be aware of spontaneously reduced knee dislocations and its associated pathology. Re-evaluate the circulation after reduction. If the pulses are normal, serial follow-up up to 48 hours with clinical exam and non-invasive studies, ankle brachial index. If the ABI is 0.9 or more, then the patient will not have an arterial injury. If the pulses are abnormal or different, then do arteriography. If no pulse is palpable, then do an immediate exploration in the operating room. Treatment of vascular injury. Arterial injury is usually treated with excision of the damaged segment and reanastomosis with a reverse saphenous vein graft in addition to fasciotomy, prophylactic fasciotomy. Early surgery of any dislocation is usually done if there is ligament avulsions. An important ligament to reconstruct is the PCL. If there is an avulsion, this is done very early. Also, the posterolateral corner disruption necessitates an early surgery. After reduction, the patient is placed into a knee immobilizer or external fixer. Delayed elective reconstruction of the knee ligaments are usually done at a later date. The PCL is an important ligament to reconstruct. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult 
your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.